Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm clearly moved in. Um, we have a little Hoya popping out to greet me this morning. Um, so I'm so sorry for how long it's taken me to get um, this video together. It's just been a little bit mad since we moved, as, as I'm sure some of you can understand. Um, but I've just gotten my stuff together and I've edited all the clips together for how we moved. It is a little bit all over the place. I tried to film what I could um, as we went along, but I definitely learned some things and I felt like the video definitely needed a bit of an intro. So this video is just to show you how I moved 100 plus plants to a new house and how I went about that. This is not something I've actually ever done before. So it's a learning experience for me, just as it might be for you. I hope that you can learn from some of the mistakes that I made. Um, I'm gonna include a clip at the end to kind of recap what things I should have done differently and what things actually worked. Um, so that might help you if this is something that you are about to embark on. But either way, good luck on this journey, if that's the journey that you're going on. If not, I hope that you enjoy the video and yeah. Okay, so we've already moved the desk and all the other furniture and stuff like that. So there's a couple of more things grouped together down here that are not normally there. So all I'm going to do is basically take down, I have in the last couple of days, I've made sure that everything is watered very well and stuff like that, but things have definitely been a little bit neglected in the craziness, um, but just keeping up with watering and stuff like that. So they're all taken care of that way. But the first thing I'm gonna do is basically just dismantle everything, take down all the plants and take down the shelves and the lighting and all of that and going to try and group plants that are hanging together so they can kind of be folded down on top of each other if you know what I mean as well as um, smaller plants grouped together like that and um, such as the lithops and stuff like that I want to try and group them together so they don't fall around in the van and then bigger plants like those on branches down here, my philodendron, uh, sagifolium and syngonium aritum and stuff like that. They're going to hopefully be grouped together and I will be propping up the branches somehow in the back of the van. So that is an extremely vague plan here, <laughs> but it's definitely going to be changed as we go along and I don't really know what that's going to look like so the most of this video is just going to be i guess filming me doing the process and maybe i will talk over it then when i have a bit of a clearer head of what what i guess at that time i have already done so let's get started it's quite late in the day we've already done a van trip so um yeah so let's get this down as quick as we can
Okay guys, it is 7.30 in the morning and we've just put a uh, first load. Um, well, it's the majority of the plants, but it's not all of them, unfortunately. It's annoying because you can't maximize the height of the van because you can't really put them on top of each other. Or at least that's that was out of my brain capacity anyways. Um, so what I've done is I've utilized, let's go in the back here. So in the back we have like the shelving, fans, humidifier, lights and stuff like that. I have one big tall box, which I wish I had for everything. If I can advise you to get loads of tall boxes, that's the best way I found to fit them, especially everything on branches. And that's what I've put in that box. Then we have, excuse me being out of breath, I've gone up the stairs about 150 times. <laughs> Um, so we have some uh, great rectangular um, plastic boxes that I put smaller plants in and then I ran out of those. Um, I also have this uh, rectangular cardboard box and then I just have giant outdoor garden pots that I found in the shed that we didn't use this year. So I've used them to kind of group them all together so if they do fall down, some of them are dirty, <laughs> if they do fall down at least they're contained a little bit. Oh, there's one that's already fall down. Fall down. <laughs> My so-called beauty yeah. Is there any way I can protect that more? Okay, so that's basically it for now. There's still some plants indoors, but we'll be doing another trip. And that's the first one. Yay! I, oh yeah, I also use dog blankets underneath um, some of the loose pots so they don't slip and kind of push them in between so they're not rattling around. And hopefully... It all goes well. I will update you when we arrive and see how they look. It's about four to five minutes to an hour drive, so we shall see. Okay, so we are here. It doesn't look like there's any casualties. It's just, it's quite cold. Everything feels quite cold. So we're trying to get them in ASAP. But other than that, nothing seems to have fallen. So let's get these inside. Okay, so this load is pretty much in. Oh, so in terms of casualties, we had one uh, begonia, um, what's that called? One begonia, my brain is broken guys. One begonia black fang leaf crisped off. Um, my silk corbutia, I found that anything that was really dry um, if it fell over like the soil is just so dry kind of went everywhere that fell over but no damage and then these are the two casualties sorry I'm leaning over here and um, we had one beautiful new podatum leaf snapped off because it fell over kind of thought that would happen because that's one of the larger plants so that broke off up here and um, so I might propagate that in spring and then the other casualty but I think I can propagate it is the top <laughs> of the tortum fell off um, which is very upsetting I was loving how big this tortum is getting um, but it should be fine I've never propagated it before but I'm sure sure we can deal with that but other than that it's fine, although I am a bit concerned at how cold some of the leaves felt when we took them out of the van. The internet people came, came when we arrived and so we couldn't really take the plants out right away like I had hoped. So they were in there for a good hour. Um, so I guess, look, we might have some cold damage as well. It is January, it's probably the coldest time of the year in Ireland, so we shall see. We shall see. But uh, next thing, I'm just going to leave them in here to acclimatize and then, yeah. All right. It's about two days later. Um, we have moved all the other stuff um, in the house and set up the turtle tank and did all of the like priority things, I guess. And I've just left the plants in here to try to acclimatize a bit. So it's time to start putting up the shelves and arranging all of the plants, which I'm really excited for. This is definitely not all the plants. The plants are dotted around the house. There's some I still need to bring up here. 
and some bigger ones and smaller ones as well that I'm going to be leaving downstairs. So quite a few yellow leaves around the place. Sadly, Varicosum probably got overwatered. Um, yeah, there's quite a few damaged and yellow leaves. My only leaf, my alocasia zarina is um, yellowing. That's okay though, you know, when you move 100 plants, I think you need to keep your expectations uh, not super high, you know, for damage and stuff. So, but yeah, excited to get started. Um, I'll probably film an update video for when it's all arranged, how I like it and decorated and stuff. So um, I'll keep it for that. I don't know if anybody realizes how little space I was <laughs> working in before for videos, for all the plants. Like I had like a meter walk up that was the space I had to do all of those things. So I just don't even know how to <laughs> accept that I have a full office with plants. So um, very exciting. So things that worked and things that did not work. One thing that I think really worked was grouping the plants in kind of categories for let's say tall plants on branches or hanging trailing plants or small succulents and things like that and kind of arranging them that way definitely helped in the actual transport. Like I said tall cardboard boxes are your friend for tall plants. They're just the best to give stability and they help things not fall over especially when they're top heavy and stuff like that. Then the wide pots really worked for the smaller plants that I could group together and kind of squish in. Any really really so small pots I would kind of nestle in to the hanging plant pots so that they didn't fall over that way. Um, yeah so that really worked. Um, circular pots do not do very well for a rectangular space in the back of a van obviously. Oh hi, hi, you want to come up? I wanted to join for the talking part of this video, didn't you? Yes, you do. So, um, what else? Yeah, so circular pots, obviously you're wasting a huge amount of space with that. Now, I wasn't that prepared and hadn't really thought in detail about this before doing it. Um, my mind was kind of taken up with renting a van and doing all the other things that you have to do when you move. So, um. Yeah, so rectangular or square um, container type things are much better space-wise, obviously. So we could have fit more in each trip with the van. Now, I, like I said, I did most of the plants in one trip, but like <laughs> when I went back to get like, oh, just the last couple of plants, I had a full car and I still haven't gotten them all. So it's it's definitely a lot more than you think and you only really realize that when you go to move i'm sure a lot of you have experienced this but yeah so what else worked and what else didn't um, the way that we did it was basically that the night before we got all the plants in the pots and in the boxes and stuff um because we had to leave very very early the next morning in the van but i didn't want to put them in the van the night before because they'd be really really cold overnight the back of the van had no insulation was really really cold so i wanted to have them ready for us to just bring down first thing in the morning drive there and take them out straight away that didn't quite go to plan well it did in terms of preparation for the morning, we put them in the morning, but then as I said, when we got here in the internet, people were here and we couldn't kind of start moving the plants straight away. So they were in the van for a couple hours more than I wanted. And the leaves were so cold, that made me very worried. And I definitely have had some cold damage from that. So obviously if you're in a cold country, try to either insulate the plants some way, not have them out as much now it's exhausting it's really really tiring to move all of the plants um in a very short space of time but if you can do it you will save yourself some oops dog is falling <laughs> if you can do it you'll save yourself some cold damage obviously what else so we have temperature containers um pest situations 
I have not been on top of my pest management and I have thrips spreading almost all over. Um, if you can, if you are someone that treats your plants and like you don't use beneficial insects, try to treat them just before you go or something maybe. I didn't do that, but I think that that could help in the spread, um, especially if you're using something systemic. So yeah, something I didn't really learn from, but I just accepted that was going to happen and I just have thrips everywhere now. Um, what else? I think that that's kind of it. Kind of it. I didn't prioritize setting up shelves and all of that stuff. I left that for a couple of days, just as long as the plants were in the main room where they were going to be so that they could start acclimatizing as fast as possible. Um, yeah, so I hope I'll, sh I'll show you quickly around the room now for what it looks like. But yeah, do let me know if you want a dedicated video and new tour kind of a thing and yeah I don't think I'm like a hundred percent happy with this layout and um, obviously there's a lot of plants on the floor that haven't been put away um, I've been so busy at work since we've moved that I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with this but I just wanted them to be set up with lights and all of that um, and start adjusting to the new spot which they have done. We've had um, some growing pains I would say the least and um, we definitely did get some cold damage. Um, I also have thrips and pest issues. If you want me to do like an updated plant room tour, or something like that in the next week or two, then let me know. Look at this cute little leaf. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm so excited to start filming even more in this space. Take care, and I will see you very soon.